All right, fantasy football fans, holla at your boy. This is Jimbo Stevens. Real quick announcement. Um, as a lot of people know, uh, Jaguar fans are, you know, a little bit uh, riled up over Marquise Lee and Leonard Fournette uh, being injured. Uh, this should not affect your fantasy value this, the, of, of those guys. Uh, if they're on your board and you like them and you can pick them up in the late rounds, by all means, go ahead. I'm not going to stop you, uh, and I'm not going to tell you no. Uh, me and Ray say all the time, uh, rule number one is stick to your board. If Marquise Lee is on your board as a sleeper, because don't get me wrong, the second half of the season, he did bring it together, and he was a great waiver wire pickup for those for those people that dropped him after drafting him as a sleeper. So he worked out and panned out very well. Hopefully the same goes again uh, with his uh, high, a high ankle sprain. So... Uh, Leonard Fournette, on the other hand, he might end up dropping uh, a few draft spots. Um, he, for me, he's still a second round running back um, at best, maybe. Um, you can go ahead and, and take a shot at him if you want. Uh, but for me, he, he, he goes down the list just a few. Um, if, if you're at a crossroads, then um, whether it be picking up a quarterback or a wide receiver or Leonard Fournette. Um, it's probably safe to say at this point to go ahead and pick up an, a wide receiver two, especially in PBR leagues, a wide receiver two uh, or a quarterback uh, to fill up your roster instead of Leonard Fournette and just wait for the September shift to happen or the September swing to happen and you know see who's available at running back at that point. Um, other than that, uh, that's that's your fantasy football update. Uh, I've been Jimbo Stevens. Like, comment, subscribe, subscribe. Like always, hit the bell icon after you subscribe so you get up to date uh, information on where you should draft, how you should draft, and uh, as always, later.